Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. I'm back on the Tennessee River. And uh, this morning, I'm going to fish for crappie. And I'm going to do it in one of the best ways I know to catch crappie. And that's going to be with live bait, live minnows, toughies in specific. I've got two types of toughies. I've got a regular toughy and an orange toughy minnow that I'm going to I'm going to try them both and see which one they'll hit the best. And um, the kind of tackle I'm using today is real light. I've got a Cadence, what is this called? A CS10. It's a, just a small spinning reel. Real, real small. Loaded with two pound test line. And it, a Cadence rod. It's six foot light, moderate fast tip. Is what it says. It's six foot long. It's real light, limber, and my setup today is real simple. One of the most simplest setups that you can have for crappie. Um, just a small bets float. You can get these at Walmart, or I can, at your local Walmart. If not, you can order them. A little bitty split shot. I don't know what size it is, but it's about like a BB. And a size 6 Eagle Claw rotating hook. Rotating hooks, what that means if you'll see the bend in it. Um, they're just cam action hooks. Uh, actually, cam action hooks, the military um, designed these years ago. And put them in survival kits. That's a little bit of history about a cam action cam action hook but this is a size six real small the toughies i'm going to use today are going to be anywhere from an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half long real small and uh once we find the depth how deep these crappie are i'm hung up in a tree dead on it we'll catch crappie but because i need to today because mama sue wants them she wants, she said at least five. I'm going to catch, oh, I'll bring her seven or eight home probably. That's all I need to clean. But she loves crappie. I'm not a big fish eater. But if you're good to your woman, they'll be good to you. Okay. Men, just be good to your woman. Okay. And, uh, okay, okay. We're going to go catch a crappie. That's enough talking. Let's do some walking. Stay with me. Ooh, that float went down then. Let's see what we got here. Yep. That's a crappie. Messed up and he's making them head shakes. Pretty good crappies. I believe it's a white crappie. I don't necessarily what we got. The water's so clear, their patterns are. Yeah, look at there. Look at there, what a pretty fish. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, keeper. Let's put him in the bucket here. I don't need but Shoot, four or five of them right there. Let's put him in there. Oh, that's a pretty fish. And he hit a regular. A minnow right here. About five foot deep. He come up and got him. A lot of fun. Live bait fishing is a whole lot of fun. Let's try this orange minnow. I keep saying pink, but really they're orange. Toughies. Make us another <coughs> cast out in there about where that crappie hit. See if there's another one. They're real scattered out here. Well, there's another one. It's crappie too. Maybe that camera picked it up, but uh, they'll they just they'll hit it and it's steady under. No jerking, none of this kind of stuff. That's 
a keeper. I'll just net him. I'm so cold I can't bend over much. <laughs> I'm stove up. <laughs> oh, me. Well, that one right there is probably around 12, I guess. I got my bass net out here. I don't have a little dainty crappie net. with me not today let's see what we got right here on this fish yeah. not quite 12 11 and a half so we'll just keep putting him in the bucket that's a good good fillets on that fish right there Need many. I don't like to take over uh, for me and my wife about five or six, and I'm done. Let's cast in a little different place right here. I might do it right there. I have a lot of confidence in that cast right there. But we'll see. I got that feeling, that easy feeling. stay right there in that one particular spot and that's a crappie for you come on back he fit hey he fished he circled plumb around the boat there come on in here that's our keeper good set right in the center jerking setting the hook straight up gets that done especially with them rotating hooks Eagle claw, rotating hooks. Let's put him on in there. Yep, we're getting a mess of crappie in here. There, Elmo. Whoa. Okay. Let's get that little dude right there. They don't have to be very big at all. Not in this clear water. This one here is about an inch and a quarter long. Pretty and orange. Golly. Look at there, he just shines in the water. Okay, now yeah, I've lost my burns. One little particular spot out there. Maybe I'm close right there, close enough so they can see it. There we go. Ah. Huh. There we go. That fish didn't want to commit for some reason. This is a big crappie here. I ain't seen him yet, but I can feel them head shakes. Yeah. He hit it once, turned it loose, and then come back and got it. <laughs> Why he did that on a live bait, I don't know, but that's fishing it. Ah, look at there, what a crappie. My goodness, and he hit the, the orange minnow. Or minner, or minnow. There's a lot of different ways to say that. That's a good one. Look here, what a fish. Now that is what I consider a slab in this part of the country from right there to a little bigger but now look at there what a fish that's a good crop what some fillets right there let's put him in the bucket okay wow that is a big crappie there he goes Good crappie. Not no monster by no means, but a good fish. 
I'm having to be real stealthy out here and real quiet is what I'm talking about. It's a black crappie because there's no wind, virtually nothing out here and the water's real clear. So I'm stepping around real, <laughs> real quiet. Now that crappie might have swallowed my hook. Not quite. It's down there in his throat and I caught him on a orange manner. Good chunky, fat, stocky fish right there, ain't he? That's a stump. That's what I'm gonna call him, old stumper. Ain't nothing like this. I love it. My bucket's starting to get some crappie in it. Oh, but they're, they're pretty slow about biting because there's no wind in this clear water. Now, clear water, uh, you, you really need some wind. Let's see if that minner's good enough to catch another one. Yeah, might be able to catch two on this minner. But, uh, Where'd I catch him at? Somewhere right in there, I believe. Okay. There needs to be a little wind right here. It's making them a little tough. Because the water is so clear. A little ripple in the water. He's down again, though. There's another fish. He made a storyteller out of me, folks. <laughs> That's all right, though. Not everybody knows it all, do they? I just made that cast right on top of that fish is what happened there. It's a good one. Golly, Mama's going to be proud of me for bringing some fish home finally. It's a healthy fish. Black crappie. I caught two crappie on that minnow right there. What about that? This type of fishing right here to me is, uh, that's a good fish, ain't it? Uh, this type of fishing right here, get on in the bucket, is the simplest way to catch crappie. When they're shallow, whether it be in the fall or springtime. All right, folks, we got her done right here. Today was a beautiful day to fish. We hadn't been having many of these here in the Tennessee Valley. Um, I'm not used to it not being windy. I had to be real quiet and stealthy in this clear water to catch them, but we got some crappie. Mama Sue's gonna be tickled to death. You know what, man? Be good to you woman, and you woman, I'll be good to you. Okay, and I want to, uh, say i appreciate everything that y'all have said all the good emails and man i tell you what it's been something else that's all i know to say uh hey the main thing is do it for you and remember